Hi everyone, this is our major schedule builder plus capstone project. And uh, as you know, VSB plus stands for visual schedule builder plus. And here is our team member list. The first one. Hi everyone, I'm Xin Yu Liu and is a scrum master in the team, which is responsible for some team management. Uh, I'm Professor Chua and I respond for the business and analyzing. And I'm Jin Kang Yang and I'm the one of the code developer. I'm Xia, I'm a code developer too. So the project will be focused on the student, the building up of the class classes schedule, the opinion from the professor of different faculty and the student are mainly to be considering. The virtual schedule builder pass will be designed for students into the different faculty. Then through the faculty according to the importance and limitation of classes. The virtual schedule builder pass will be recommend the courses to take for the student in the different semester. After the student have chosen and built out the desired time schedule, the virtual schedule builder pass can also give out some advice on their timetable to help them for better time planning. And the reasons behind our capstone project is uh, a good design of the virtual schedule builder that will help users to organize and build up the timetable wisely. It is to solve the problems such as considering what courses to take first to be able to graduate in time. Knowing the different limitations of each courses, like for example, the prerequisites of in order to take the class and when it offers all the credit hour requests, as well as to be aware of which elective classes to take that will benefit them in the future based on their faculty knowledge. The enhancing of the functionality for UFR existing visual schedule builder will help the students to select the courses easier. And in the real world, the visual schedule builder plus can be very useful when it comes to build up the plans. It laid out the things that needs to be done by the time schedule. It will help the plan go smoothly to, to be kept on track and be finished in, in time. So there, there are some impact for the university students and advisors. So for the university, the website is able to provide reasonable advice on course selection with different faculty condition and semester. Um, and this web application can help students arrange the entire academic schedule and have a better plan for college life. A student will no longer miss any important course in century, century semester. It helps students to graduate smoothly with the less academic mistake. Um, meanwhile, the student can realize the course per request and save time, save time, wait, save time waiting for academic advisors. As for the academic advisor, this application will reduce the uh, opportunity questions from students, which save the time for more valuable academic conversations and will improve the work efficiency. The advisors can have more time to focus on them complex work. So, okay. So who is our client and the stock, uh, stockholders? Uh, of course, our audience is meaning student of the University of Rijala. It would be extended to other university and uh, we can also provide this application to people who are under a sem similar situation and uh, who is opinion matters. Of course, uh, our and the advisors and the students, we will get them feedback for improve 
our web applications. So, and then what to achieve, we may want to take place of the advisors and where is the audience is. So for now, um, because we are taking an online class, so some of students may lot in the uh, Regina, they might in other country or cities. So, but I believe most of our audience university students in the Regina. So, and then why they need it? Um, because uh, advisors is hard to assess or make an appointment with them uh, at at the beginning of the semester. So it helps students. Uh, there are some constraints. First of all, there is time constraints. Uh, we we have seven to eight months to finish, and it's uh, my first project that contains all process of developing a software. Uh, we are very sure that we can make a minimal viable product, but not sure how far we can go. The second one is technology constraints. Mm, we are considering use uh, uh, some AI and machine learning technologies uh, for for uh, for recommending courses to the students and analysis difficulties um, pre-request for the different course. Uh, but we are still learning now, and we will face lots of difficulties during developing this function. Uh, third is knowledge knowledge so uh, we are not decided what language to use and we still need to uh, learn lots of uh, works uh, our plan is to use in python or java framework but not decided yet fourth one is customers um, for now our client is of url uh, if we want to extend our clients to other, other universities, uh, their university have their rules. So we need to change rules and uh, optimize our web application. And five is the interface. Uh, we need to design an interface that can visualize the difficulties. Uh, that difficulties may change during the time. Uh, we want to make a chart that can visualize them. Uh, how deep we should go. Uh, we want to take a place of advisor, but use changes over time. I have not decided what kind of permission should the system uh, give, give the students, but uh, some permissions may need the, the student to apply. So that's our introduction. Thank you for listening.